evening to one of all. Here again, for St. Thomas Parish Church. It is situated along Highway 2 way. Again, other way to Puerto as the on a map highway. So this is St. Thomas Church here. So again I'm in the parish of St. Thomas, which is in the center of the island. St. Thomas and St. George are the two and a lot of parishes here in Barbados. Best referred to as the heart of Barbados or the central uplift of Barbados. We have no sea nor coast link in these parishes. There are the two parishes that are in the center of the island. But however, this part of St. Thomas is in close proximity to the parish of St. James, which is to the western side of the island. St. Thomas Parish Church here, which dates back to 1836. Yeah, 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 yeah. So once upon a time, all here used to be cane ground, cane fields. Before it was a highway. This highway only started to build sometime in the 90s. The highway to where started to build between 1993 and 1996. Started from down Warren, down here, all the way up to mile and a quarter in St. Peter, which is to the north of the island. So the highway literally basically runs from Warrens, which is in the center, between St. Michael and St. Thomas, all through St. Thomas to the center, St. James to the northwestern side of the island, and then it would end up in St. Peter, which is to the north of the island. So Highway to Way was originally Wanama. Highway was originally Highway to Way. So this road would be leading back to Warrens, back to the south in the southern direction, back to Warrens, and back to like Corsules and Redmond Village in St. Thomas, and back to um, Bagatelle, but the Bagatelle Great House with the Lucky Horseshoe. Lord Willoughby Tavern restaurant is and it will be leading you back to the Sandy Lane Golf Course and it will be leading you back to the New Arch Hall Fire Station which is one of the longest fire stations in Barbados which dates back to 2001 which was built in 2001 so one time all here used to be Cairns before it was a highway all here used to be Cairns the whole thing and it was not like this a highway it was a lonely road with no street light running in the countryside I'm um, in the country at the moment St. Thomas is a rural parish this is a, a, um, a well preferred route to the north of the island more so than having to use the West Coast Road, which would be Highway 1. So all here used to be Cairns. Yeah. So ahead of me by St. Thomas Church would be the Lawrence Johnson roundabout, which is the one of the largest roundabouts on the island. The roundabout was built between 1994 and 1996. The opening ceremony for the renaming of the Ronamac Highway, from Highway to Way to the Ronamac Highway, was held right in the middle of the roundabout. And the plot was unveiled by Sir Lady Mac, Lady Mac, who was Sir Ronamac's wife. This is a 
basically the highway. This is the driveway pathway to St. Thomas Church. So St. Thomas Church, the highway was built around the church. Anglican Episcopal Church. I have lots of family that are laid to rest here. I also have a great uncle that was also laid to rest here. And I also have families that are laid to rest here. So I have an aunt that was married here. And I have family, mostly distant family, that are laid to rest here as well. So this area is known as Arch Hall. Arch Hall is St. Thomas. So this is a busy area with traffic. I'm not checking the traffic guys. I'm doing a update. I'm doing a um, a video of the area. So I'm not checking the traffic, but But if I am doing a video of the area, it's obvious that I may be taking whatever is around me. It is still a lonely world in a sense, but it is not as lonely as it used to be. But it is still lonely. Yeah. There is no houses on this road. As you can see, it is a deserted road. It is still a lonely road but it is just that it is well traveled now because of the because of the um, highway many people use it as an artery to get to the north of the island and possibly yeah miss cash yeah miss cash here oh here's so busy now though. so busy the oh, St. Thomas Church. So this beautiful rural church is less George, less Gothic and more Georgian. And opposite the church is the St. Thomas substation for the Barbados Leighton Power Company Limited. And the other side before the roundabout, the left leg at the roundabout will take you back to the parish of St. James with Port Town, where you see View and Last Hills, which is all on the west coast. And the straight ahead will take you back to the north of the island. With St. Peter, St. Lucy, and a bit of St. James as well. It will take you back to the Port Bear Sugar Factory, which is the only working sugar factory in Barbados, after the closure of Buckley's and Andrews, which will be the last two remaining sugar factories after there were three remaining sugar factories after the closure of Carrington in 1991 and then when Carrington closed down in 1991 there was Butley's, Andrews and Portville Butley's closed down in 2002 and only Andrews and Portville were left remaining Andrews closed down in 2013 so only Portville is left now to carry the weight of the sugar processing in Barbados St. Thomas along the Rana Map Highway. We're going to update on the uh, St. Thomas Church environs, which is the roadway to Port of Vail Factory in Barbados. Thank you guys for watching now and do have a blessed evening. Stay tuned for more videos of Barbados. Thank you.